Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. I hope that you all are well in the Lord. People of God, I am always just so honored and grateful to be in your presence. And I definitely want to, again, take the time out to say thank you uh, for taking time out of your day to come hang out with me to see what the Lord is saying in this hour. And as you can see, guys, I'm in my car again. Lately, you know, my car seems to be the atmosphere. You guys know I will record anywhere, wherever the Lord leads me to record. That's where I'm going to get the word out. So today I'm in my car. It's a little warm, but I know that I will get through this message. Um, guys, before we get into the word, I want to pray with you right now, because see, this is one of those type of words where the enemy will try to come in and sideswipe us, you know, try to um, irritate the broadcast and so on and so forth. And we're going to um, come against that attack right now before it happens. We're going to go ahead and protect the broadcast in advance. And we're going to say, Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father God, we come to you in our humbleness form, Father God. We respect you. We love you. We honor you. We want to give you the glory and the praise. Father God, we want to invite you into the atmosphere right now. We want the Holy Spirit to fill the room. Father God, we have so much that we want to learn from you and hear from you right now, and that is why we are in fellowship today. Father God, we ask that you open up our hearts and our minds to hear the word that you have for us today so that we can take whatever it is that you're trying to teach us, whatever you're trying to show us, okay? We want to be able to utilize that in our lives so we can live our lives in a way that is pleasing to you. Father God, I am your daughter. You have called me to this, Lord God. And because of that, Father God, I fear you and I respect you. And so, Lord, before the saints, I am asking that you come into my body, that you take away anything that is fleshly. You take anything that is of my own mind and of my own way and of my own speaking, and you replace it with the Holy Spirit. Father God, the whole goal of this broadcast is to speak to your children from the throne, to speak to your children through the Holy Spirit. So that way they are able to receive what it is that you have for them today. Father God, we just want to give you the glory and the honor. And Father God, while we are here, we ask, Lord God, that you cover this broadcast. We come against any evil attack that attempts to come for this. For any evil attack that attempts to come for the saints, we come against it right now. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And we ask you, Lord God, to cast that spirit up out of here cast it into the depths of hell, Lord God, and just leave us in the presence of the Holy Spirit so that way we can hear what it is that you have to say. Father God, we have come today to serve you. We have come today to honor you and we will hear the word of the Lord uninterrupted in the name of Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Guys, this word began to manifest this morning while I was spending some time with God. The spirit of the Lord just fell over me, people of God, and I just started shouting. I started speaking things out into the atmosphere that I had been silent about, you know? There's some things that have been happening in my life. There are some people that are connected to me and even in my family that have concerned me in some way. And the Lord told me to be still during that time frame. But this time around, people of God, I started giving God thanks for all of the things that he was getting ready to do and all of the things that he was doing in my life. And I just started shouting and I just started speaking those things out that were hitting inside of me out into the atmosphere. And as I was doing that with the Lord this morning, people of God, the Lord brought two scriptures to my mind immediately. The first scripture that the Lord gave me was in Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse seven. And in that people of God, it says that there is a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak. And as I was meditating and hearing that in my ears, I immediately knew that the Lord was changing the seasons. He was shifting the atmosphere and he was saying, beloved, now is a time for you to speak. No longer will you be silent about those things that were inside of you. But now I am giving you permission to speak these things out into the atmosphere so that something changes. Hallelujah. And as I was hearing that, the Lord then brought Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21 to me. And in that verse, it says that the tongue has the power of life and death and those who love it will eat its fruits. 
People of God, the Lord was speaking to me heavily in that time frame. And what he was ultimately saying to me and what he is using me to say to you in this hour, in this new season, in this new paradigm of time, he's saying that he needs for you to open up your mouth. Child of God, it is time for you to open up your mouth. It is time for you to speak out loud. It is time for you to speak about the things that are concerning you. It is time for you to speak about the situations that are connected to you. God is saying that he needs for you to speak up. It is time for you to voice what you have to say in this hour. He has given you permission to speak out into the atmosphere. No, you will not use this time to speak evil against someone. No, you will not use this time to curse someone, but you will open up your mouth to spread the gospel. You will open up your mouth to encourage somebody. Hallelujah. You will speak the word of God and you will decree and declare your blessings and promises you're going to bind and rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus Christ because no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No longer will you be silent in this hour, but God is calling you to speak out into the atmosphere. God is calling you to exercise your authority in Jesus Christ. God says that he has given you the power and authority to grab hold of your promises to grab hold of your rewards, to grab hold of your dreams, to grab hold of your visions and bring those things into manifestation. Hallelujah. He has commissioned you. For those of you who love him with all of your heart, for those of you who have been obedient to his decrees and his commands, for those of you who have kept and maintained a repentant heart, for those of you who choose to stay in his presence through prayer and worship and fasting, for those of you who fall short but get back up to the glory of God, the Lord is saying that he has given you his power through his spoken word. Why? Why does he do this? Why has he done this? Because you cannot speak anything over your life. You cannot decree anything over your life. You cannot bring your circumstances to a place. You cannot bring your petitions to the courts of heaven unless you know his word. Hallelujah. And so God is encouraging you to speak, to speak using the word that he has given us, to speak using the living word of God that we have at our hand in the Holy Bible. God is saying, do you remember when he spoke to Lazarus? And when he spoke to Lazarus, Lazarus woke up from the dead. The Lord is asking you to recall when he spoke to the leopards. And when he spoke to the leopards, they became clean. And people of God, he's even saying, do you remember when he spoke through Moses? And when he spoke to, to, to Moses, the Red Sea parted and the Israelites were able to walk across dry land. I hear the Holy Spirit saying, do you hear me, beloved? Do you hear what I'm saying to you? God is saying that we are his ambassadors. God is saying that somebody needs to hear this. God is saying that he has given us the authority to speak to the dry bones and to bring the dry bones back to life. Hallelujah. God is saying, child, get up. Get up and open up your mouth. He's saying to get out of your past, to get out of your mistakes and to open up your heart and speak out loud. Speak out loud. Decree and declare your life right now. God says do not give the enemy the satisfaction. God says to open your mouth. God says you will not allow the enemy to steal anything away from you. God says he has given you the power and authority in him to move mountains in your life. And God is saying that the only way that you can move mountains in your life is to speak the living word of God, to decree and declare his word out of your mouth right now. People of God, it is time for you to live the life that God has called you to live. It is time for you to step out on faith.
It is time to step out on what the Lord has promised you. It is time for you to grab hold of the dream, to grab hold of the vision, to grab hold of all of the things that the Lord has shown you. And no, it will not be peaches and ice cream. And no, it will not be a cakewalk. And no, it's not going to be smooth sailing. But what the Lord is saying is that he has your back in all that you do. God is saying if, if he is for you, who can be against you? God is saying that he will see you through your circumstances. God is saying that he will catch you. God is saying you can't fall backwards in this time because now he has changed the seasons. The season has shifted for you to speak. God has given you the authority to speak, okay? And God wants you to trust him. He wants you to take hold of the life that he has called you to live. He wants you to capture the life that he has intended for you to live. And God is saying that when you open up your mouth, you will see the manifestations of those things that he has showed you in the spirit, that he has showed you in your dreams, that he's shown you in your heart, that he has shown you in vision, that he is showing you in prayer, that he is showing you in that special time. God is saying it is time to open your mouth. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus Christ. So people of God, that is the word for today. And I pray that this word blesses many of you. I decree and I declare your healing and restoration and you're taking hold of your authority in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And people of God, you know, to test the spirit. All right. I do have a video in the description box that will give you some tips on how to test the spirit. You want to always weigh the words from the people, the servant of the Lord's against the word of God. And also you want to pray and ask the Lord to confirm something for you in the spirit. It's always good to do that. It is what we're called to do, right? And so guys, I just love, love, love you guys. And I appreciate you sharing this video with someone that you think needs to hear it. Okay. And I thank you for subscribing and also joining and becoming a member of Shanika Buys United for Christ. I am truly blessed by you all and I appreciate you. And I want you guys to have a wonderful day. And remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I love you. Bye.